Hey folks, I'm meteorologist Bill Alexander. This is the satellite radar loop with starts with a powerful line of thunderstorms once again pounding north central northeast Texas all the way into central Texas and expanding back into the Concho Valley and working with towards the Edwards Plateau. Now what we're going to be seeing is those storms working their way southward with time. The question is, will they make it to us? Meantime, look at your lake levels. They are way low. Your combined is down to 26.4%. We just haven't had enough rain to help us out. And that's why we're sitting around in moderate drought right now. That just updated today. What are we looking at for rain chances? They're not going to be that great uh, for the next several days. So we need to cash in tonight and tomorrow night. Let's hope those storms make it far enough south. Right now, they're moving into central Texas. And that's what brought the significant rain cooling across the Metroplex and you've got 60s and 70s there. Everybody else is hovering in the 90s and we are looking at that right here. Upper upper 80s to lower even middle upper 90s with the dew point staying very high for the next several days. That's why we've got the potential, the potential for thunderstorms. Now if we can bring them in here, that'll help us a lot. We don't necessarily need the, the severity, but overnight, upper 70s to lower 80s for your low temperature tomorrow. Another hot one out there. Uh, uh, 80s along the coastline, lower to middle 90s in the inland areas, even upper 90s southwest. But notice that wind shift, that frontal passage, not a frontal passage, but a wind shift come through here with those thunderstorms during the pre-dawn hours. Now, that will take a dent out of your heat index, but it's still going to be very hot tomorrow afternoon. And again, as you move on into Saturday with heat index values exceeding 110 degrees. And as you get out away from that in the coastal waters, uh, upper 80s, heat index around 108, water temperature in the upper 80s, southeast wind 15 to 25 knots, so you got choppy bays, 5 to 8 foot seas, and moderate rip current risk. But here is the high resolution model uh, that we look at most often, and you can see the thunderstorms developing during the evening hours out in the Edwards Plateau, expanding southeastward and beginning to move into our, and across our area during the early morning hours. You can see about 2 a.m. crossing across here. And that is going to be our challenge overnight, putting a timetable on that during the late evening and early morning hours as this system promotes the thunderstorms moving into our area. So we're going to be seeing that one or two more times during the next seven days. But the primary impetus here is going to be when and how much, not only rain, but do we have a potential for severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds. So right now, the Storm Prediction Center has got us in a marginal risk for severe storms overnight tonight. And again, the primary elements are large hail and damaging winds. You can see those right there. And we will keep you informed about that because the potential exists for those storms to move in and across our area. But right now, some models don't have that happening. It keeps them north. But around here, it looks like it's going to move in during the evening, late evening and overnight hours until about 2 to 3 a.m. You'll see that perhaps again tomorrow night. And we're looking out towards day seven here Thursday for another opportunity for rain. The whole opportunity there is superseded by extreme heat. And especially early next week, excessive heat potential prevails. So we're looking at highs in the 90s and lows in the, around 80 degrees. But we'll keep you informed about the storms tonight. We'll be back with more in just a bit.